severe gunshot injuries. Police say she was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Right now, it's unclear if this was a murder-suicide attempt or if both the man and the woman had a gun. Police have also not said if the children were in the home at the time of those two incidents. Experts say the officer's plan of action is supposed to prevent situations like this one. What the officer does is that they look at the situation and see, is this, could this be a possible lethality? Is there high risk enough within this domestic dispute? And if there is, they'll do that um, application and then they'll try to connect the client with a domestic violence counselor to speak with. And we are working on getting additional information from officers and city leaders. As soon as we have any update, we will get that out to you. In New Haven, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut News Station. If you or somebody you know is dealing with domestic violence, there are resources available, including CT Safe Connect. That's a 24-7 hotline hosted by the Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence. So you can call 888-774-2900 or you can email safeconnect at ctcadv.org. Keep in mind, multiple languages, and you can contact them anonymously. Last thing, we've always got that number and that email address up on fox61.com at all times. It is 9.06 this Monday morning. New Haven police said they're investigating another shooting that sent a man to the hospital. They said that happened around 3.30 Saturday morning near River and Ferry Streets. Officers found a man in the road who had been shot. That man told them another person who was wearing a ski mask approached him and opened fire. We don't know how bad his injuries are as of this morning. 906, we know a woman is in the hospital after getting into a serious crash over the weekend in Hartford. This all happening at the corner of Tower Avenue and Waverly Street. Fire officials say they responded just before 3 yesterday morning. They found two cars had collided, a woman semi-conscious outside the car and seriously injured. 